we assume that from time to time that we can um, tell a small fib or a white lie, I guess is what the, the phrase is, um, to cover for ourselves or cover for a colleague. The problem with this is that it's it's not that initial lie that we tell that's um, that presents the problem mostly. It's it's the lies that we tell to cover the lies. There's an example um, a couple of years ago of the president of the U.S. Olympic Committee, who um, who's doing a good job by everybody's token. She's a, a very well respected real estate um, person in the Southwest. And a, a student is doing a profile of her for an alumni magazine of where she allegedly went to college and did her PhD in literature. The student is doing some research and starts calling around uh, to the, uh, the registrar and says, well, can you confirm that this, when, when this woman graduated? And the, uh, the, the student who's writing the profile for the alumni magazine discovers that um, the person doesn't have a degree from that institution. So she gets outed for lying on her resume about a literature degree that has nothing to do with the real estate business, that has nothing to do with the U.S. Olympic Committee, but ends up in her resignation as a result of a lifetime of covering this one lie she told early on when she was trying to get a job. Um, and, and it's often the case where, where you tell a lie um, and then you get stuck with that lie and you can't find your way out of it. And the, and the solution is just not to lie. 